In today's video, we're going to compare and contrast the S&P 500 across three different markets, the ES futures, the micro ES futures, and the SPX market. Now, if we start first with the full size futures market, we had the S&P 500 breach our volatility models in the 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific hour. Now, the full size futures are really what I would consider my compass. It's the guide that I would use if you said out of the three S&P 500 markets, which one do you use? The full size futures markets, I think, is the best gauge of volatility there is here. Now, in the S&P 500 ES futures market, we had price action breach our sign entry lines with this red candle. That's step one of our fade setup. Step two is we need to see our oversold confirmation, which we saw right here. And we even got a retest back to the sign line for an entry for this long side position. The risk on the S&P 500 trade was 6.5 points. And we were looking for that same 6.5 points in the opposite direction, which we hit in this green candle right here. So this was the ES futures, the full size futures market. We had a breach, we had our fade setup rules being met, and we hit T1. Now, if we look at the same setup, but this time with a chart of the micro futures, you should notice something similar. However, that first breach, we don't go nearly as far deep into the sign entry lines. So you can see inside the micros a little bit less volatility using the same volatility models. Here, price action barely tags the sign entry line before we see that bounce up and ultimately the retest to then hit T1. So the volatility inside of the micros followed very closely to the S&P 500's full size futures. However, you can see here how that varied just a little bit with the sign entry line. It helps to make the volatility a little bit more visual. Now this should really come together when we look at the SPX market, where inside of the SPX market, if we look at that same hour, same setup, that's this period right here where price action sells off, but inside of SPX, we fall short of our sign entry line. So that should hopefully give you an idea of how the volatility varies across the full size, the micros, and SPX, especially for those of you that are S&P 500 traders. The ES market, I think, is your best compass in terms of using one source of truth. After that, we could see the micro ES futures were following very closely to the volatility we saw. And we also saw how that varied inside of SPX. So for those of you that like to trade SPY or SPX, you might be better off using something like the ES futures market as your actual gauge of understanding what is the volatility inside of the S&P 500. I hope you found this video useful for those of you that are S&P 500 traders and helps give you an idea of how the volatility differs between the ES futures, the MES futures, and the SPX market. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.